Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send text messages for new pipe drive deals. So imagine this, you have created a new deal with a person called as John in pipe drive. So you have John's name, email address and phone number and all those details. So your idea is to send a confirmation SMS to John on his phone number. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of John from pipe drive, sort it out, compose a message and manually send it via SMS sending apps like Twilio. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new deal is created in pipe drive, automatically send text message on Twilio. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate pipe drive and Twilio. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we are going to begin with a small example. So this is my pipe drive account. And the idea is that once a deal is created, the person with which I'm creating the deal, he will be getting an SMS. Let me show you. So I'm just going to create a deal with a person called as James Bond. Okay. And the organization is M16. And the title of the deal is uh, New Contract. And the value of the deal is, let's say, 1000. And the pipeline stage is uh, confirmed and the probability of success is 50%. And the expected close date is uh, 30th of April 2021. And this is the phone number of uh, James Bond. So basically, he will be getting the phone at this address. Okay. Basically, he will be getting the SMS on this address. And this is the email. Okay. Email of James Bond. I'm sorry. James Bond. At the rate gmail.com. Okay, so let me just click on save. Okay, so a new contract has been created. A deal called as new contract has been created. It is worth 1000 uh, rupees and uh, the person that is working is uh, James Bond. So basically, this is the message that James Bond has received. So let me just uh, show you the message. Hello, James Bond. Welcome to the team. So basically, this is the message that James Bond has got from me. Now, this is a very simple message. In our case, in your case, if you want to create a more uh, elaborate message, you can also do that. But in my case, I have created a very simple message. Now, to begin the actual integration process uh, in the browser, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Pipedrive and Twilio. Now, Twilio is an SMS sending app. Now, this same process can work with uh, other SMS sending app like SMS Horizon or D7 Networks. So, this is the website of Pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as pipe drive to Twilio. Pipe drive to Twilio. And let me just uh, click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, now we are going to create a new workflow. Now, in case if you want to replicate or clone this workflow, the link of this workflow is available in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as pipe drive because we want to send the data from pipe drive. That is why pipe drive it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new deal? Okay, so new deal is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks the question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new deal is made in pipe drive, then what action should be taken by the system? We do have a ton of trigger events like new person, new product, new pipeline, new note. All of them are a bunch of trigger events. Now in case, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new deal is made in pipe drive. So let me just click on connect with pipe drive. In the new credentials, we have to enter the API token. So to get the API token, let's have a visit to pipe drive. So this is my pipe drive account. You already know this. So let me just go to the profile, click this. And here in the drop down, you will find the company settings. Click this. Okay, so this is the company settings page. Now here you will find the option called as personal preferences. Click this. Okay, so yeah, so this is the section we want to explore the API section. Click this. So this is my API key. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, 
So that's what we have done. We have pasted the API key. So let me just click on save. So when you click on save, you have two options here, the webhook URL as well as the company domain. Now in the most cases, we basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. But in case of Pipedrive, all you have to do is enter the company domain and just click on save and send test request. So let me just show you the company domain. So this is my company domain. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So we have entered the company domain. So as I mentioned, all I have to do is just click on save and send test request and we will integrate Pipedrive to Pipedrive Connect. So let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing that we have integrated Pipedrive to Public Connect. So basically this means that anytime a new deal is created in Pipedrive, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me just click on this button, capture webhook response, click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So let me just go to Pipedrive, okay, and let me just create a new deal. Deal it is, okay. So this time a person called as Henry, Henry Atta is making the drill and the organization Henry works is um, Umbrella Corporation. This is the same Umbrella Corporation from Resident Evil. Okay. And uh, the title is uh, Resident. Okay. Resident. Just a random name that's popping in my head. That's all. Resident deal. And the value of this deal is uh, $10,000. The pipeline stage is uh, filled okay the probability of success is uh, 20 percent the expected close date is uh, how about one okay and uh, that is first of may 2021 and the owner is basically me and this is the phone number we have pasted it okay i'm sorry this is not the phone number this is basically the company domain so this is my phone number so this is the phone number and this is the email henry perry Okay, so we have entered all the details. So let me just click on save. Okay, so a new deal called as resident deal has been created. So let me just go to public connect and let's explore that we have got the data or not. Yes, the data has arrived. So these are all the details. So we have the resident deal. That's basically the deal. The value of the deal is $10,000 or INR in Indian rupees. We haven't changed the currency. I'm using Indian currency and uh, the time at which the it was created, the deal was created. And then we have um, the person's name Henrietta and the organization name that is Umbrella Corporation. So this is uh, the value. Okay, so basically we are missing two important values. One is the phone number and of course the email. Now without them, we won't be able to send any notification. Now in this video, we will be using that phone number to send the SMS. So where is the phone number? We don't have it. So let me just show you something. So let me just uh, scroll up, actually scroll down. And this is the this is the ID in which where all the phone numbers where the phone number as well as the email of Henry Atta that is the customer with which we had made the deal is stored. So basically we have to extract the phone number from this particular address. So to do that let me just scroll down and here let me just click on this plus button. So when we click on this plus button another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app how about we make it as pipe drive. So basically what we are going to do here is we are going to construct one more action window. Okay to uh, get the information of the email as well as the phone number. So uh, in the action event, we are going to just uh, select find a person by ID. Okay. So let me just click on connect with pipe drive. Now we have filled already filled this. So we are just uh, hanging on to the recent setting and let me just click on save. Okay. So basically now we have to fill in the ID. So to do that, let me just click on this mapping button. When we click this, we will find all the details that we have received from pipe drive. So as I mentioned before, we have to map this particular ID and we have mapped it. Now all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to extract the details. So let me do that. Okay. So this is the API response. So let's have a look. So let me just uh, scroll down. Okay. So we do have the same organization that is umbrella corporation. And this is the name and we have the first name and the last name individually Henry Anatta. And uh, let me just uh, scroll down and this is the value of the phone number. Okay. So basically on this number, we will be sending the SMS and then we have the email. So now we will be using Twilio to send the SMS. Now, as I mentioned, Public Connect works fine with other SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon, D7 Networks and many others. So basically you just have to follow the same procedure. So in the choose app, we are going to use Twilio. So in the action event, how about we make it a send SMS message, then click on connect with Twilio. 
Now in the new credentials, we have to enter the account SID, authorization token, and once again, the account SID. So to get all these details, let's have a visit to Twilio. So this is my Twilio account. First of all, click on settings. Okay, settings, click here. Okay, so in the settings page, first of all, let me just uh, enter my password. The reason is it has been staying dormant for some time. That is why it's demanding password. Okay, so as you can see, this is my API credentials. Now here we have two sections. One is the live credentials and one is the test credentials. We are going with the live one. So this is my account SID. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So this is my account SID. Now coming to the authorization token. So this is my authorization token. I'm just going to remove the privacy. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Now coming to the again account SID, we are just going to copy the same thing once again. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the account SID two times and the authorization token. All we have to do is just click on save. So this is the set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Pipe Drive via Public Connect. So here we have the body of the SMS. So I'm going to compose a simple message. Hello. And uh, I'm going to enter slash n. The reason I'm going to enter the slash n, basically I want the rest of the details in the next line. So this particular character slash n will enter all the data in the next line. So, hello, the, we are going to find the person. So the person's name is Henrietta. Okay, so we have mapped it. Thanks for creating a deal. And uh, the deal was uh, something related to contract or something. I don't remember what was the deal. It's actually in the first accordion. So let me just go to the first accordion. Okay. And uh, the deal was the resident deal. Okay, thanks for creating a deal. And um, your corporation, the corporation name was Umbrella Corporation. Okay, so let me just scroll down. Or how about we just search it, Umbrella Corporation. Okay, so this is the corporation. Will entertain this favor. Okay, hello Andreata, thanks for creating a deal. Okay, resident worth, worth. Let me just enter the value of the deal. So it was something 1000 or 10,000, yes. Or 10,000. And it was in Indian currency, INR. And your corporation will entertain this favor, okay. So basically this is the body of the SMS. Now comes the sender number. So basically this is my number. I'm just going to enter my number. So this basically this is my number. So this is number is from something that Twilio has given me. So this is always my sender number in Twilio. We are actually using the trial account. Now in the recipient number, we just map in the recipient number. So this is the recipient number. Let me just uh, scroll down and map the number. So this is the recipient number. Now there is something you should know. Here we have to follow a fixed format. The format is you have to enter plus nine. So we actually have to all we have to do is just type plus nine. Okay, plus plus okay in front of plus nine one okay so that's all we have to do recipient number we have entered we have entered the sender number that's basically my number and this is we this is the body of the sms that we have constructed so all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to uh, send the message so let me just do that okay so the api response is showing that the message has been sent so let's have a look so this is the message hello henrietta thanks for creating the deal resident deal worth 10000 inr for your cooperation umbrella will entertain this favor excellent so basically this was the whole process now what we are going to do here is before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism so i'm just minimizing my action window and i have minimized this action window and i have minimized the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell First, you integrated Pipe Drive to Public Connect, and then you have integrated Public Connect to Pipe Drive once again, so that you can find the person person's detail by ID, especially the phone number as well as the email. Then you have uh, used uh, the other action window to uh, integrate Twilio to Public Connect. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Pipe Drive and Twilio. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.